Here we are, folks, Oak Ridge Unitarian Universalist Church, right in the thick of things. A couple of weeks ago, we hosted uh, over 500 people crammed into the social hall, figuring out how to get engaged in promoting tolerance and inclusion and justice and liberty for all in our country. That was an exciting time. And then uh, this past week, last night, in matter of fact, the interfaith uh, group at ORUUC hosted a panel of 10 folks from 10 different faiths sharing their views in a respectful and loving way to an audience of over over a hundred. Next week, our church is sponsoring a community uh, organizing training out at the Haley Farm in Clinton that has a 30-person wait list. It's oversubscribed. More people want to go to it than we can take. There is a rising up in this country of people who are wanting to do good, to connect with their neighbors, to restore our country to its uh, state of freedom and justice, and we in Oak Ridge are part of that uh, cause. We are a hub. We are a generator, a beacon of those values. Thank you for all that you're making happen on that front. As I told someone, last night's interfaith panel, uh, a beautiful response to the hatred and division of this past week, had nothing to do with me. I was just there as a participant cheering it on. It came from you, the church members of ORUUC. Same with the event a couple of weeks ago with the Women's March. That was not a top-down event. That was you uh, and, and folks around Oak Ridge pulling things together. This is a grassroots effort. It's bubbling up. It's excitement, it's energy because of you and your passion and your commitment to values of tolerance, inclusion, and liberty and justice for all. Now, how are we going to sustain this for the long haul? How are we going to be about our values of love and compassion and mercy? Well, Mohandas Gandhi talked about two prongs, two parallel tracks in sustaining commitment. The first, he said, was an obstructive program. This is non-cooperation. This is why the, the head of Uber has resigned from uh, the president's uh, advisory council, because so many people were deleting the Uber app and saying they were not going to use Uber um, if the if their, uh, chief of that company supported the oppressive policies of this administration. So uh, taking part in non-cooperation and, and obstructing uh, the, the, the steamroller of oppression is one way. But to sustain that, you've also got to be involved in that second prong that Gandhi uh, mentioned, which is constructive engagement. This is you going to potlucks, you getting together with friends, you making sure that you're laughing loud, having a good time, that you're doing your spiritual practice on a daily basis. This is you uh, kind of keeping connected to all that sustains you, all that keeps you fresh and alive and laughing and hopeful and moving forward. So it's that obstructive part two that gets all the headlines, but oh, remember that constructive engagement, that constructive engagement that keeps you alive, that keeps you linked arm in arm with the people you love, moving ahead day by day, refreshed, renewed, and, and, uh, and strengthened for the long haul, the long, long haul that is up ahead. We're going to make it. We're going to bring about the beloved community in this uh, country uh, in, in the years to come. Glad you were, were together on this.